Meanwhile, now at 530, more pedestrians are being hit by cars year after year in Cincinnati. That's according to some new police data that in 2018, 454 crashes involving pedestrians were reported. That is up 30 crashes from 2017, and in 2016, 429 crashes were reported. Many of those incidents involved children as well. More than 100 children were hit by drivers in 2018, and you may recall the case of 15-year-old Gabriela Rodriguez, who died after she was struck by two cars in Westwood back in September. The driver who caused most of her injuries is still at large. And this past Sunday, a two-year-old boy was killed while out for a walk with his father. In this case, police say the driver, Satwinder Singh, was under the influence of drugs when he lost control of his truck and jumped the curb on the Hopple Street Viaduct. Now the crash report data does not say who is at fault for the incidents and it does not indicate whether things such as a distraction or impairment were involved. Kristen is with our transportation reporter Pat LaFleur right now to go beyond the numbers. So Pat, you've been following this all year long. The first question out of the box is, how does this data compare with years past? Sure, so uh, the police data that we looked at goes mm -hmm. back all the way to 2013 where there were just a little north of 300 pedestrians involved mm -hmm. in crashes. Now we're seeing that's uh, gone up to around 450 this year. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's quite a significant increase over the last six years. Okay, so almost a third of these involve children. Why is that? Well. I think the, the easiest answer there would probably come down to, uh, just like with any other crash, lack of predictability in, in some of these situations. And you know, children, just as much as anyone else, can behave unpredictably. But uh, when it comes to you know, the string of students that we've seen hit outside of mm -hmm. uh, Cincinnati high schools recently, a lot of that comes down to the volume of traffic in these areas, the way the streets are designed, the way the lighting is designed in these areas. So really, when you talk to officials about this problem, they really can't pinpoint one specific cause. A that, why. Or, one exactly. why, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a whole host of things that they're combating. Okay, they're combating a whole host of things, but when you look at solutions, if we take a look at what Northside did with the parking along each side or each lane of traffic on Hamilton to slow people down, could that be something coming to the rest of the city? You know, that's what people in Northside hope, and I think mm -hmm. that's what we're going to start hearing from some of our transportation officials, especially given how drastically the crash rate went down after that 24-hour parking rule went into effect. So we call these efforts road dieting is the mm -hmm. the term that's thrown around a lot and it's really just any attempt to like you said slow drivers down so that these crashes either don't happen or they're less severe when they do and so that your neighborhood is safer pat lafleur thanks for your insight always appreciated thank you craig all right kristen thank you mm -hmm. pat thank you